This is the Woody Show. And it's another new hour. Men's sensitivity training for a politically correct world on this Tuesday morning. It's July the 11th. 2023. I'm Woody. That's Ravy. Happy Prime Day. Happy Prime Day, everybody. <laughs> There's uh, Greg Goring. Hi, Woody. Good morning, Menace. <laughs> Good There's, morning, uh, Woody. Sea Bass. Yeah. There's Sammy. Good morning. We got Bort. We got Caroline. Morgan is here. Vaughn is here. Phones are open for you at 877-44 Woody. That's 877-44 Woody. Speaking of uh, love, add another one to the list. Another video that almost got me. You guys. Oh, no oh, boy. Nice. It's a guy who's uh, watching something on TV with his girlfriend, and then all of a sudden, the video cuts out, and audio starts playing of her dead father giving his blessing for him to propose. And uh, obviously, she's shocked. She wants to know how he got it. Mm-hmm. It was AI. Mm-hmm. Kidding. It was actually him, Rave. What? Yeah. Uh, what? He recorded it three days before he died. Oh, oh Wow. And uh, his permission was very important to her. And she said yes, by the way. But I'm watching this, and just her reaction alone almost got me. Up. Yeah. That's sweet, though. Right? Yeah, that's nice. That is very yeah. definitely. See, I know Greg understands. I know Seabass is rolling his eyes. I like yeah. it. Well, obviously, in this day and age, permission? Come on, people. Yeah. You yeah. still have to ask permission. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you have to? Yes. Yeah. I yeah. guarantee you ask and- people who uh, got engaged last year. The permission thing. Yeah, it's probably 50-50. Oh, yeah. more or less. Uh-huh. It, was, uh, it was important to my wife. I know that. I think that tradition um, is alive. I could see it yeah. would be important to Sammy. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, Rebbe, if, if your dad was around and you were going to get married, mm-hmm. I think that would be important yeah, to you. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. See, I don't, no, I don't know if it's like something that people even think of. Mm-hmm. At this point, no. yeah, what I'm saying, yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's not because they they think of it. And they go, nah, N- nah, right. dog. <laughs> <laughs> or like if your partner has a lousy relationship, yeah, sure, right. mm. that's also different. Let's talk about someone in the room, menace. Yes, um, yeah, did I, you ask permission? Well, we got engaged, and then I asked for permission. Were after. they even invited to after. anything? I mean, after? Did they even know that did, you're married? Did they go to <laughs> the said Taco said Bell was, Cantina? I said it was asked if it was okay. <laughs> Because I, I, I and you already proposed. I already proposed, but <laughs> yeah, so no, he didn't do it. I really want to hear, to the best of your memory, what was the your end of the conversation? I was like, "Is it all good?" No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so like, oh hey, you know, we got we got engaged. I just want to know if that's okay with you. Pretty much, oh. that was uh-huh. it. I mean, we're already <laughs> engaged. Is it all yeah. good? What is, what is yeah. the poor guy supposed to say? Uh, uh-huh. No, it's not good. With well, me. they could say no. It's not okay. Not dog. <laughs> uh, we not still had dog. this. Ain't it? Still had the discussion it. though. Not like, hey, we got engaged. <laughs> no deal discussion it. about it. Right. Just deal with it. So is that like okay? <laughs> is that all good? Do I have to go get unengaged? Yeah. <laughs> you know the dad was like. Uh, <sighs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, well, oh this God. guy. No. Oh, the guy that's <laughs> awesome to you guys and does a bunch of fun stuff together. Yeah. I'm sure they were disappointed. Hey, uh, <laughs> I got some ice cream for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> By the way. It gives them no issues. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm saying they're probably looking and going like, oh, man, like how is this guy supposed to take care of her? He can't even pack his own suitcase. Yeah. Right. He can't make exactly. his own dinner. Yeah. Our daughter won't allow it. <laughs> he can't yeah. the dishwasher. He does everything wrong, yeah. so our daughter will have to do uh-huh. everything. Yeah, Jessica, does this yeah. guy know how to hang up a shirt by himself? Yeah. <laughs> or is it like they, <laughs> because of that, they were like, oh, yeah, hey, buddy, you want to ask mm-hmm. us anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you betcha, big guy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, we have an awful relationship. I'm not saying nobody <laughs> said that. <laughs> Deflector. No, Deflector. I'm well, not deflecting. I'm saying we have an awesome relationship. According to the latest census data, a uh, record number of people are living alone. As of 2022, 29% of households consist of just one person. Yeah. Interesting. Known mm-hmm. as solitaries. Hell yeah, mm-hmm. I'll take that. That's how they, uh, that's how they label them. They're up from, God damn you. that's up 18% from 1970. And they mentioned a number of factors, including an aging population, lower birth rates, tendency to get married later. And uh, they also mentioned a larger share of women joining the workforce had something to do with it. They don't need no man. Hell That's why oh, they're just out there careering. It's because they're fierce and independent queens. Thank yeah. you. Thank so you, you. you Empowered. You have, thank yeah. you. So you have all the lonely, you know, loser dudes who, you know, even prior to 1970 were living by themselves. But now you got all these independent, uh, you know, working women Warriors, out there, yeah. too. You got You got that going on, too, so... So the birth rates in the toilet. <sighs> yeah. Birth rates in the toilet, right? So that that <laughs> plays into it. People are living longer. 
And so I've when had they a outlive their spouse for the majority of the summer. I, I'm over it. Really? Yeah. Why? What's he doing? Nothing. And that's what Roommate he does. Roommate is Nothing. your nephew, by yeah. the way. Right, family. But, but I can see how that would cramp your style. So, yeah. I'm so cramped. How? <laughs> because yeah. I feel like, especially on the weekends, I have to be like the cruise director, you know, and go out and do totally. stuff and find fun things to do. Why? He's I'm 20 like, years old. He can. Right, I he know. Does he feel I, that way? No. He'd be fine doing nothing. But like, yeah. I put that on myself, and right. so now yeah. I'm excited for it to end. That sounds He'll good. play video problem, games, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for it to be over. Wow. Wow. God. No. <laughs> Though I did Tell him I, that today. but I did actually extend it for a week because I want him to come along to this Comic Con event that we have uh -huh. on the twenty second and he was gonna fly back on July twenty second. I'm like, uh -huh. ah, stay for one more week. And then I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> Wow, Raven, it sounds like a real drag. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to leave your fortune to I that. thought he was staying even longer than Oh, that. after this, he's got way... I t I've told him many times you're out of the will. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what is he doing? Not Probably that I, nothing. Yeah. Not that I'm putting you guys in the he, will. Like, I was going to say, Greg. is he drunk driving and robbing people? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, yeah, like, what's, what? no. yeah, what's me, so bad? Yeah, give me some nothing. more... <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a joke. He's give breathing. me some more specifics. He's pooping too much? Oh god! Like what? He it blows up that toilet. <laughs> yeah. Mm. His, Oppenheimer. And oh my god! He, the number he wants me to take him to that too. Yeah. He's like, are we going to Oppenheimer? I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, he's <laughs> just like the ultimate slob, like the ultimate lazy slob. And I don't. He's twenty year old dude. I know, <laughs> but I shouldn't have to ask him to take out the garbage. He should see that it's full. And he's probably too stressed. Too stressed to for take out day. the yeah. garbage. Yeah, so you hard. talk about how stressful that is. I mean, you yeah. understand. You leave cabinet doors. You leave drawers <laughs> I do. open. I do. You know, thing like you, I you, do. you talk about how you right. just kind of leave things. Maybe he so, buckles. Yeah, yeah. On garbage <laughs> day. <laughs> he came home from his internship the other day, and it was garbage day, and so the recycle bins were still out there. Yeah. So he parks in front of them and just leaves them. <gasps> oh my god. That's yeah. you. You have been trained better than that. I would think his See, mother would be very disappointed. That's disappointing. <laughs> See, and this is why you know people are like, oh man, I can't wait. It's great seeing family. It is, but there has to be a time limit on it. Like <laughs> it's family is like fish, three days and then it's bad. Because and here's how that cycle works. Like if you don't live near each other, which is the situation with Ravi right. and her, we're across the country and her nephew, right? Or if you got people that have to come in from out of town to visit you, not like drive 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour to your house. I'm talking about people that got to get on a plane mm -hmm. and come visit you. Here's how that works. Day one, you arrive. Oh, my God. It's so exciting. It's so good to see you. <laughs> oh, my God. Day two. Man, I can't believe you're here. It's, I'm like, this is, this is awesome. Hey, so what are we doing today? Day three is the balancing point. That's where everything just gets, like, levels back out to zero. And then by day four... You're expected to take the goddamn trash out. That's right. You're expected to help out with uh, whatever, you, even though you're like the guest or whatever, which is fine, which is fine. But I'm saying like, what happened to that energy of like so excited and mm -hmm. everybody was happy to see each other. You've you've settled back as as if like you know you've never left each other, you've never <laughs> so been away true. from each other, and now like Ravy can't wait for him to get out of the house <laughs> and like go back to his home. That's kind of the case you know, with everything. College. Though. Yeah. 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 Go back to college. Yeah. Like three days and then I don't it's not that it's bad. It's just that it goes back to just and that's regular. That's what I'm saying. It hasn't life. been bad at all. We've had a lot of fun. But I'm looking forward to returning to being a solitary. <laughs> <laughs> Here, well, I got uh, one more thing on uh, maybe you're gonna get engaged and you wanna keep it classy. Yes. Some classy ish right here. You can now get an engagement ring charm that sticks oh. in the top of your Crocs. And this nice. Is, this a is jib. not. This is not your <laughs> everyday jib. This is classy. This is a classy jib. All right. It comes with a felt box. <laughs> so the idea is that you propose with it like a regular engagement ring, and then you stick it on her croc oh. instead of on her finger. Hell yeah. Here's what it looks like, Ravy. How cool would that, that be? That is oh. beyond oh. cool. Wow. Wouldn't, look wouldn't at that, that be neat? Now, here's, Dude, it here's looks the like other a piercing, thing. Like a croc mm -hmm. piercing. Here's the other thing it's, uh, it's not cheap. It's got a one carat green sapphire in the middle. It's surrounded by 16 tiny diamonds set in silver. It's going to run you about $2,000 <laughs> plus shipping. Damn. And you're wearing this on your foot. On your Bone. croc? Smart move. Mm -hmm. 
Each wow. one is made to order. It takes up to eight weeks to ship. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Get the F out of here. Crocs were the shoes they wore in Idiocracy. Yeah. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, we were talking about that. They are uh, comfortable, though. What am I supposed to be wearing right now? Well, uh, I don't know the same shoes that anyone yeah. else has worn for the past 100, what? 200 years. Yeah, we could do like, some of those like plastic 80s yeah, charm bracelets, too. Old oh, ass yeah, Nike. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Old man Nike. Yeah. We get you some light up shoes, some Heelys. <laughs> yeah. Old man. Oh, like, dude, that would rule. That, that would, would rule. rule. Yeah. Hell yeah. That'd be, look, that'd be some fun I people never, watching. I never owned Heelys at all. Yeah, that, well, which is disappointing. You, you know what? Make them in his. It's never too late. Right. Well, Ever. Say, do they make them in his weight bearing size? That yeah. Looks, that's true. Yeah, they got it. <laughs> the wheel just goes. <laughs> I always wanted. Did you guys remember soaps? No. Oh, no. What those are soaps? Were, Soaps is kind of like if you want to do like parkour and stuff like that. They have like this little like plastic sheet under the. Oh, okay, so they yeah. have. You not, can like go down railings you can and like stuff. The the the, the, oh, the mid like... the mid support was a mm. hard plastic. So gotcha. You grind rails. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Let's grind Pretty some cool. rails. <laughs> Never had those either. Yeah. Yeah. So disappointing. All right. I mean, I'm sure getting up off the floor is hard enough at this point. <laughs> I can tell you, it is for me. Like, ugh. Mm. You get down there, like, you know, something fell under the couch. You get down on your hands and knees, and you're, like, digging, you know, like, on your, like, hardwood floor or something yeah. like that, and you get up, you're like, ugh. I saw this guy. He was getting kicked out of, like, a minor league baseball game. There was a video <laughs> online, and uh, he's yelling at the usher or whatever, and uh, the they're like, get out. Or was it the umpire? I think. Like, they, they told him to get out. So he's like, fine. So he starts storming down the steps. He takes a bad step, blows Ooh. both his knees out. <laughs> oh, and, damn. Like, it looked, like, his oh. knees looked like a garbage bag full of like rocks. Uh, and it wasn't like, oh, oh he just kind of twisted. No, he was, oh, no. He, he was down. No. Oh. <laughs> he was not getting back up without yeah. a stretcher. Yeah. And so oh, that, that, that's me just retrieving something from under the couch. <laughs> <laughs> just like that.